Hey everyone, my name is Hans Vaughn, and I want to welcome you to my first YouTube video ever. So I'm actually going to be focusing mostly on the Pokemon trading card game as well as Pokemon games in general for my channel. So I want to actually mix the brand between opening cards and also playing Pokemon challenges. And also I want to bring to the, the table is affordability with pack sets and using mathematical analysis to show you which ones are the best ones for your money as well as investment uh, in growing your collection because as I grow through mine I want to share my best practices and uh, understandings with you all. So welcome and uh, today we're going to be going through the back to school kits that Pokemon just released. <laughs> You know, Pokemon's huge right now, and you know, it's finally, the supply has caught a bit up to the demand, and products are more readily available, and you know, I got into it again over the pandemic like millions of us did. We all bought into the hype, we all were out there paying 25 bucks for a pack of evolutions and trying to scrape up a Vivid Vulture's uh, <laughs> ETB when there was nothing. There was nothing. Scalpers were taking everything. But finally, this is like, I go into stores now and they're just there, and I don't have to hunt and search and I've always wanted to kind of start one of these channels uh, because I thought there was a little bit of wiggle room in an area uh, of combining Pokemon fans together. And now that there's plenty enough product for it, and I also have these great mystery boxes on the way, um, that PokerRev opened up, uh, I think, six of them on his channel like a month or two ago, and he got a base set pack out of it. It's one and two. Uh, I'm going to be doing a special opening of those with a giveaway uh, in one of my next videos here. Um, but I don't want to get too off topic. My ADHD just takes me out in ways that I can't recover from. Um, but I am excited to actually start sharing with you guys these packs, opening, uh, joining the community. I love this community. I mean, Leon Hart kind of introduced me um, to the TCG side of opening. PokeRev got me through it. And I've really been watching Pokeball lately. And he does an amazing job. And He's a lot of what gave me inspiration to focus more on the affordability, and I want to bring statistics to this. I want to show you all what it is to be able to look at a pack, understand the value of its cards, understand the value of its investment, and to be able to know, like, hey, is this safe to open? Is this better for me to save? Uh, obviously, it's for the fun of it. If you want to make a business out of it, you can, but I just have a lot of fun with numbers and being able to analyze pull rates versus estimated value of cards based upon the booster packs value that is just something that i i don't know i'd really like to do that and, and trend it over time as well uh just so you know like hey this is a really good time to buy because it's at the lowest value of car uh, of booster pack to card value uh you know so uh we'll go into the opening here but that's kind of where i want to take my channel uh, i know many youtubers when they first start out they try to set to a sticks uh a set schedule a set schedule excuse me but for right now, I'm just going to try to experiment with this video format, trying to figure out if this is right for me, uh, get feedback from you all, and uh, just really have fun because this is a lot of fun. So thanks. So the first one that they brought up that I just picked up today was the pencil set. So this is actually, uh, I believe, a metal set that has two packs in it. I'm not really sure which ones they are right now, but I thought this was like so cute that Pokemon would just like release something that people could use during school for kids. So it's almost dual purpose. Uh, I don't know how applicable it's going to be but um they also have these sets which have a astral radiance and an evolving skies in it so i believe this is the actual reprint of evolving skies 2 which does confirm it it came before august uh because they had a, the different code card in them this time uh they did come like this i picked it up at gamestop today and they were brand new they came from the back so that's how they come and i've seen uh other poketubers open it and it's the same way so i guess the cards look fine, but if you're planning to collect these, I'm not sure if this is really your like. But they also have uh, EVs upside down here, but they have erasers in them, which I think is a little strange. I don't know any collector who'd want to use that, but my wife's actually going back to college and she uses quirky erasers for everything. So I thought I'd give up to her and I showed them her today and she was pretty stoked. So uh, I'm going to be opening two of these today, one of the Pikachus and one of the EVs, as well as this. And then I also wanted to break out uh, one of the Divergent Powers Hisuian Typhlosion tins. There's five uh, boxes in here. Yep, and I think there's two Evolving Skies, uh, two Brilliant Stars, and one Astral Radiance in these. Um, so these are like a great bargain at like, you can find them for like 18, 19 bucks. 
on either uh, eBay, or if you buy them in a pack of three, really. Uh, for singles, they're really going for about $24, $25 each. I got this at Target uh, for $25, but I do have more on the way from eBay for like a pack of three for uh, $17. Uh, for prices of these, I believe these were all $8. Let me double check that. If it's not, it's going to be right up here. And I know for sure these were uh, uh, $10. These are $9, not $10. So we're going to start off here with the Eevee box here. Uh, just because he's upside down and we got to get him out of there. So again, this comes with an Astral Radiance and an Evolving Skies. Uh, and like I said before, the Evolving Skies is a reprint. And I'll show you that with the code card as we break into this. Um, and yeah, this is an eraser. Uh, I'll just keep it on my desk though. Maybe put it in my, next to my PC. I love Eevee. It's one of my favorites. I love that Arrival started with it in uh, Pokemon Yellow. And you know, it was always dependent there too about like what choice you had as a trainer uh, to face one of his final evolution teams. You know, that's a little hard to open. But that uh, that was always some fun choice I had as a kid, whether it's uh, you beat him in in Professor Oak, or you beat him as an optional rival as well, or you lose to him, then he gets a Vaporeon, you know. But again, here's that Eevee. A little cute, got a little ears. Put you to the side. Um, I'm going to open uh, oldest to newest. So we can start off with uh, Evolving Skies here. Here's a code card for y'all. I'll do a card trick here to start. We'll see how it goes as we open up. Fire Energy. Scroll of the Flying Dragon. Snow Leaf Badge. Treasure Energy. Rooflet. Drowsy. Flibebe. Rag and Rolla. I, I, I have to come across these cards that Leonhart has like hit into my head with how he says them, and I am trying my best not to copy that. But Psyduck, uh, Reverse Rare is a C-Dot, and then we come across uh, Flapple, Regular Rare. All right, put those to the side. So here we go into Astral Radiance. You know, I started watching Poker Rev probably uh, much after Leonhardt, but it's funny that he, he it's obviously Poker Rev, and he, he does his videos in the Poker Cave. And there's your code card. If anyone is familiar with RuneScape, I think I saw something. We'll see how that goes. Uh, you'll know that the Rev Caves exist. So I always think of this. When I see it and, and it just can't get it out of my head. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you like what you're watching. And now back to the openings. This card trick. Fighting energy. Kamado. Noctowl. Unidentified fossil. Chadot. Magnemite. Teddy Ursa. Sneasel. Mistrevious. <gasps> A Galarian Obstagoon! Oh dang, that's cool! We got a few on there too. Uh, that's really cool. I don't know if y'all can see, but. And then again. Oh my god! A Hisuian Typhlosion! Double pack! Wow! That's my. This is actually my first Astral Radiance pack ever. You know, and we're really looking for the origin forms here, rainbows, golds, and I don't know, the Hisuian Full Arts. I, I love this on my playthrough of Arceus Legends. I used him so much, uh, but both, we got the Trainer Gallery and the Typhlosion. Check that out. That's pretty cool. And then the Galarian Ops to go. My camera setup is a little wonky here, so I'm sorry if things are a little off-center, but I'm trying my best. But um, Oh yeah, and by the way... Here's the new code card for Other Side for Evolving Skies that shows that it is different um, and is a reprint. So look for that. Booster boxes might be coming down in value. A great set. I haven't opened up near enough of it as I'm really just getting back into it fully as I've noticed that all of the uh, cards are back in stock. Um, but here is the tin. Uh, for pencils and I am really just trying to buy up a lot of stock up right now so I have a lot for your videos as well as just opening up for my own personal collection so we can go ahead and open this up oh, that's a little cool and I think it yeah it has the uh, score bunny Sable and Grookey on the back it's pretty cute and it comes with two packs so again evolving skies and Astro radiance I would love more than anything to get the Rayquaza full art he is 
One of my favorite Pokemon ever. My favorite is Tyranitar. I have a Mega Tyranitar plush over there. When I was first dating my uh, now wife, that's the first card that, uh, sorry, not first card, but first plush she ever got me because I told her it was my favorite and she ordered it from Japan and paid an absorbent price to get me that. So I really appreciate that. Uh, but wow, we are starting off strong with a double pull. And again, I'll start off with the Evolving Skies, and then we'll move into the Astral Radiance here. I really think Astral Radiance is a great value set right now. I mean, you can get a full booster box for like 90 bucks, and there's a lot of good cards in there. And I think they're going to trend well over time as well with the Radiance, um, as well as the Origin Forms. Because I think the Origin Forms are like chef's kiss good. The Dialga Palkias and their Alt Arts. Getting the Dialga Alt Art would be amazing as well. Here we go, open these up. Cross code card for y'all. Uh, flip it. And we got a steel energy, metal energy, not steel. I always mix that up because I play so much of the games too. Bravery, Nuzleap, Ice Q, he's cool out there. Scraggy, he always looks like his pants are falling down, that's fine. Phoebus, Phoebus is actually... I have a fond spot in my heart for Phoebus. That's Pokemon uh, Ruby and Sapphire were my favorite games growing up and still my favorite to this day, and that's probably because of bias. Uh, but trying to catch a Phoebus before internet and like fishing in that one river, I have a lot of fun memories doing that up at my family's cottage in the summertime. And I don't know, this little guy has got a strong place in my heart. Hitmonchan, he's punching through a waterfall. That's pretty sweet. Slack. <laughs> Get that one out to my wife. She loves sloths. He's a, he's a pretty cool Pokemon too. Got a little love disc, reverse rare, and ooh, a slacking regular hollow. So we're getting pretty good on the hits. Uh, that's two for three so far. Coming into the Astral Radiance. So again, like I, I think this is a pretty pretty normal like pencil case. It's a little hard to open. I wish it was hinged instead of just fully open like this because it's a little hard. Like, that's two pieces. Like, if you have a kid who's going to be getting this, like, losing one of those might be pretty easy, but I, I don't know. I just feel like it could have been a little better if it just opened like that and closed, you know? But cute Pikachu art. Not a bad pickup if you're already going to go out and do some back-to-school shopping and you're a collector yourself. So, again, this was our Astro Radiance pack. There's your code card. And do four to the front. Go. Got fighting energy here. Make sure I'm centered. Overquill and Jubilee Village. Knock Towel. Hoot Hoot. Cricketon. He's just chilling on a branch. Stantler. Reminds me, I'm from Michigan originally, so Stantler. Always reminds me of White Tail Deer. Ooh, we got a Quillfish. We got both the evolution lines, the Hisuian one. Scyther, a classic. I can't believe he's a common now, but you know. He chopping those logs still. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Shadow, oh, Shadow Rider Calyrex! What the hell is this pulling? Damn! Oh my! I don't even know how much that card is. My phone is the one filming, but I will add it up on there. But that is a beautiful card. Holy cow! Two for two on Astral Radiance here. I actually have the Ice Rider Calyrex alt form from the uh, Chilling Rain set as well. So this is perfect for that. It looks like we've got a little bit of damage up here on the corner uh, of the card but if we flip it over the centering looks very nice on this this is incredible that's i got the suian typhlosion we got this card and the galarian obstagoon like dang go go pick yourself up some packs that's awesome i love it i got some sleeves over here i'll put them may, may as well put them in here <laughs> while i have them but, oh my god I saw a little something, I wasn't going to say anything, I just thought it was another trainer alt art, but holy cow. Number 17 to 30 for, that, for the trainer gallery. That's awesome, beautiful card. Hold on while I put these other ones in here, I'll get these off the screen for you. So like I said, I've, I've really just been collecting, I got in the big boom in about early 21, like or late 2020, early 21. My first thing I ever bought was a Sun and Moon booster box because it was the most affordable thing for me to open up. And I remember I got this Espeon GX with it and it was 
I thought it was like the biggest pull in the world because I really hadn't opened up cards since, I don't know, a pack back in the Ruby and Sapphire era. And I was like, oh my God. And I looked up the card and I was like, Espeon GX card value. And it showed me like the rainbow rare, hyper rare version. And I was like, oh my God, I just pulled like a $30 card out of my first thing ever. But no, it was just a regular ultra rare. But uh, I did end up pulling a Taurus secret GX out of that pack. And it was I, I was supremely hyped for that as well. So... Uh, we'll break into this tin now. It does have a name. I will put it up there for you. Um, these are a great deal, and I think they're going to be really, really, really uh, a good investment as well because there's five packs in these, Evolving Skies, Brilliant Stars, and Astral Radiance. And I think we're going to see a lot, just because Brilliant Stars itself, there's so many cool pulls in it. The Trainer Gallery is great. It has all of the Charizards as well. These comes with a sweet little Black Star promo here, Typhlosion V. I, I love, I love this guy. So he's one of my favorites from GS Legends. There's a code card, Divergent Powers Tin, Suian Typhlosion. Put that over there again. Check him out. He's pretty cool. So again, these come with five packs, and you can get them for like 17 bucks if you order in a set of three. And, and, very regularly in the 22 23 uh value range uh, just singly so i think they are a steal for futures and again it comes with two evolving skies a brilliant stars and two astral radiance so one brilliant stars two astral radiance i have that mixed up um but this is a great lineup and it will be a great investment and i can't promise you that because like i said as as as, as uh <laughs> So that we say there is just cardboard, but you know, if there's a lot of dedicated people in our fandom and uh, going forward, I think it's going to be a good increase in value across all of these sets uh, as Sword and Shield comes to its end here. But we'll start off here with Evolving Skies and then work our way through the Brilliant Stars and, and the uh, Astral Radiance, excuse me. But wow, so far we are killing it. That's four pulls in five packs. So there's your code card. Three, four to the front. Flip it over. Leaf Energy. We got a Hypno. Vigoroth. Lombre. Eevee. Woobat. Dot. Swablu, I always freaking hated these in Ruby and Sapphire as well as Altaria's. They freaking killed me. Excuse me, Psyduck. Oh, a uh, reverse uncommon for Ursa Ring. And a regular rare Sharpedo. Still cool. Sharpedo, not one of my favorite Pokemon. Don't really like him very much. His Intimidate skill always freaking... Ugh. And, oh, sorry, excuse me. Yeah, and Rough Skin too for Carvana. No, no, no. Couldn't help it. This is our second Evolving Skies pack. Here is the code card. Four in the front. All right, Dark Energy. Digging Gloves. Stormy Mountain. Oh, that's pretty cool. I really want to be able to learn more about the Pokemon TCG playing it, too. I feel like that'd be really interesting to get into. Um, I've played Magic. I've played Yu-Gi-Oh. I, I played Pokemon as a kid, but not, like legitimately i had the pokemon tcg game for the game boy advance great soundtrack by the way um if you follow dr pez on youtube he has the best rendition of their theme song as well as a pokemon hoenn medley that will literally bring tears to your eyes with the nostalgia that evokes so i recommend him wholeheartedly i listened to that on repeat it's a 20 minute whole clip and he is, and a bunch of professional musicians got together to collaborate on it and it's beautiful gossip flower oh we got a hydreigon uh, reverse hollow here and looks like an Ampharos regular rare so you know we got one thing out of that that's not too bad so for one thing I want to do for the as we break into the brilliant stars here maybe we can get a Charizard lots of them to pick from um, as we break into I'd say where was I going with this I don't even remember oh yeah uh, I think we got a V-Star card. Oh, yep. No? Okay, I guess that's flipped around for that one. Uh, that's all right. Oh, we do have a V-Star cards too. Uh, <laughs> so there's that. Um, as I progress through this challenge, uh, excuse me, my channel, 
Um, I really want to show pull rates and then balance that off the value of cards. So it can go show you the community's engagement, how hard it is to pull something, as well as like your risk versus reward of opening some of your sealed product because sealed product is gonna go up. It's going to, but card values don't always follow that. So when you have things like Evolving Skies where there's tons of pulls with tons of good value, that might be worth it to open. But when you're looking at something like Fusion Strike, you know, it might be cheap, but like really realistically, how many packs do you have to open to to get the card you want? And is it worth that money? So uh, I'll continue to follow up on that with you. I'll show you some examples um, coming up that I think I'm gonna start with Lost Origins as it comes out as my first one and then work kind of backwards and then give periodic updates every like six to 12 months on them. Just so you all are aware and the community is aware of your value of your money as we enter harder economic times as well. So Clang, we got Cynthia's Ambition, we got Chubchu, the Denny, Budget Pikachu. Oh, this is such a cool far-fetched. Who's the author on this? Tomokazu Komiya. Leak Lash. I've found that a lot too, where people are starting to collect actual artist cards. And I think that's such a fun subset of collecting because, you know, you find something that fits your style. Um, and it's a fun thing to do. It does. It's not about necessarily value of a card but what you personally value and I think that's what we're all after is like what makes you happy in collecting and I just want to celebrate that as well. A Duskall, man he's stroking, looks like a character from Bloodborne there like kind of through. We got Grimer, Ooh, we got a reverse Team Yells Cheer and uh, an Alcree Regular Rare. Pop you guys over there and we'll break into the Astral Radiance. Open. So I've recently been opening up a ton of Pokemon Go, and I have a lot of Pokemon Go things to open as well for this channel. I got the Alt Art Mewtwo the other day. I actually just went to a random store, um, and they I was just checking to see if he had any ETBs. It was like a pop mom and pop shop, and he's selling them for a retail price. And I went out to my car to open a few of the packs, and sure enough, boom goes the dynamite. There it is. And I freaked out. I ran back inside. Here's your code card so I don't just sit here looking at the quillfish. Um, and I was like, oh my god, I pulled it. Like, can I please just get a top loader? I'll buy him. And he like started freaking out. We showed everyone in the store. It was really cool. I'm not even sure the pull rates on those yet, but I love Mewtwo. I love that altar card of just like, it looks like him in downtown Manhattan. Um, and I really want, I've never wanted it so far. So I think it's going to be my first card I ever send off to be graded. Uh, and I think I'm going to go with BGS for it. It looks like it's in great condition. Um, I'll show you guys here in a bit. But... Hans did not, in fact, show the Mewtwo this episode, and he did not in even two episodes in the future. So maybe I'll splice it in, but look forward to it soon. Suing Quillfish. I uh, was not wrong. I love a Suing and Growl. He reminds me of my dogs when they get fluffy. So they just got groomed, so they're very, <laughs> very short hair right now. Bergamite. Rufflet. Ponyta, got a reverse seas spicy seasoned curry. Can't be spicy enough for me. I love spice. And uh, non hollow Mydiana. Again, we started off strong, cooled off a little bit. I don't mind those first hits that we had uh, of the Calyrex uh, Trainer Gallery and the Typhlosion V are great enough for me. I mean, we also have the Galarian Obstagoon as well. Perfect. Uh, one more pack of Astral Radiance, and I'll wrap this up. Thank you guys if you're sticking around. Please give a like or subscribe as I'm just starting off here. I really feel like this could bring a lot to the community um, and help you your dollar go further. So starting off here, there's your code card. One, two, three, four to the front. Dark Energy, Gapejaw Bog, Magneton, Last Pack Magic, Spicy Season Curry, Cyndaquil, Suing Quillfish, Growlithe, Bergamite, Rufflet, Oshawott. I wish a lot that I can get a good card here. And oh, we got a Regigigas regular hollow. So, you know, he's pretty cool. Normally he starts off slow, but this time he came back around at the end, you know, for the hit. So, <laughs> thanks. Spoiler, I know I didn't open up the Pikachu uh, blister there, but I actually did afterwards when I realized I messed up. I recorded it. I got absolutely nothing, so didn't really miss much.
Thank you all for joining me today for my first video. I really appreciate it if you stuck around for this long. Uh, let me know what your favorite hits were. If you'd like, comment, subscribe. I got plenty of videos coming on the way, just like my affordability analysis between the Astral Radiance and Brilliant Star sets. I can tell you what value you're going to be getting out of those cards versus how much the packs cost, and also the statistical analysis of you actually pulling the cards you want and the money behind it. So. Please, again, if you like the content, leave me some feedback. Leave me what you liked, what you didn't like. I'm very new to this, so I would really appreciate it all. Thank you guys so much. Have a nice night, and see ya.